Before these volunteers started digging for potatoes, they dug even deeper for dollars. We're coming into the Christmas season right now, and I think this is a wonderful thing for people to be thinking about. Mark Dufresne and his team are celebrating more than Christmas. For the company's 25th anniversary, these hands got behind a $1 million challenge, with donations going to 51 charities in Manitoba, including Winnipeg Harvest. 51% of the food banks that we're putting, the hampers we're putting together are going to children. So here is a, 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 a step that says we recognize the need, we're putting some dollars on the table, but more importantly, I'm rolling up my sleeves and bringing the team here with me. We're gonna make some hampers today. The impact on the community is immediate and direct. They're helping pack the 5,000 hampers going out of harvest every week. Now the long-term goal is to cut food bank use by 50% in the next nine years, but that can only happen if the community gets behind it now. We have to make sure people are eating and that kids are getting the right nutritional pieces, and that's what's happening today. That statement that says not only we're investing in the future, but right now people need to eat. For the month of November, an anonymous donor is matching dollars from groups like this one, and the manpower adds to its value as well. The challenge is other, other businesses. Here's a model to follow, here's a model to get involved with. We've got this matching program happening now. And I would say, let's do the Dufresne match. Let's match not only the dollars, but match the time these guys are putting in today. I love that. We believe that uh, what, what comes from a, a, a great community is a strong company, and therefore, we've been very fortunate over the last 25 years, and we felt that we, we uh, need to give back. The added time and matching incentive has Dufresne's $15,000 donation adding up to $600,000, hitting hunger where it hurts, right in our own backyard. For Shaw TV, I'm Kim Kasher.